Time now, 632, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office remembering the life of a very special four-legged member of their team. That's right. K-9 Snoop passed away in October after his months-long fight with various medical issues. And WRTV's Nico Panisi is live in Noblesville with that K-9's legacy. Good morning, Nico. Good morning. I'm here at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office where weeks later, they're still mourning the loss of patrol canine Snoop. Snoop was a Ju German Shepherd who still had a lot of life left to live. At only two years old, he managed to establish himself as a vital part of the canine unit. He was trained in narcotics detection, area searching and tracking, and criminal apprehension. This was his uh, official photo. Happy-go-lucky and tail always wagging. His tail would be bouncing off the, uh, the hallway walls, so you know, it's like beating a drum. That's how Hamilton County Sheriff's Deputy Brian Melton describes patrol canine Snoop. At this point, all we can do is memorialize what he did make and create a legacy for, for him. Snoop passed away in October after losing his battle with various medical issues. A great loss for Handler Deputy Patrick Traphagen. He spent more time with uh, Snoop than he does his family. You gotta think they're on patrol together, and then when they're not on patrol, he's at home with he and his family. Their bond began over a year ago in the canine and basic handlers course. The five week long process costs around $16,000. The duo graduated in January. In his short time with the department, Snoop assisted with 22 civil apprehensions and one apprehension by bite. It's of great importance to have those dogs work in the street. They were able to help do criminal apprehensions, whether it be on traffic stop, running the dog around the car finding uh, nice nar a load of narcotics or just people that flee from you know, felonious uh, flight. Canine training continues monthly with two 12-hour days plus any on-shift training conducted while working. After Snoop's passing, the sheriff's office is left with two patrol dogs and one bloodhound. Melton says Snoop's paw prints will always be left on their hearts. His legacy will be the fact that he was a loving canine that, that loved the community and the community loved back. And a memorial in Snoop's honor is currently in the works, although there's no date set at this time. In Noblesville, Nico Panisi, WRTV.